How's it going, Z fam, and welcome back to the realm of Zelda, playing some more Tears of the Kingdom. I am tired. <laughs> uh, I've, I've started working a little bit of extra hours at work because money's a bit tight right now, but I am doing great. How are y'all doing <laughs> on this fine next Breath of the Wild episode. What is this, episode 71? Or 72, I think. 72. And King Doraframp... Oh, man. Oh, man. He is not looking good. He's not looking good at all. Oh, it's this guy. I was wondering if you were still alive. God dang. He's looking, he's looking messed up. Who approaches? Is that you? So it is, Link. Hmm? How did you find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Oh my god, really, Muzu? <laughs> Old, my ever loyal Muzu. You speak in such a way without explanation. Think you will only get confused as to what is going on. Dude, he is messed up. He's super <sighs> messed up. Hello, Link. It has been some time since we last spoke. I had received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? I kind of want to help you out. Well, well, to think that such a thing could trans... Okay, everybody always says the same thing. You expect us to believe that the princess just simply disappeared? You do not sully our ears with lies. Remember, what does this guy have against me? Like, I saved Zora's domain in the past for this guy. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon at Hyrule took place. Mm. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of the Zor. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when we last saw Princess Zelda, as well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. Oh. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere. Sludge and fragments ruin... Sludge and fragments of ruin began raining down. Uzu and I left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences, and that is when it had happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed the beast upon us. Uh -huh. Oh, that's why he doesn't trust me. Indoor from violently vanquished the threat, however, he was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. Uh -huh. Word got out the Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King. Resulting tomorrow would be devastating. That's why we are temporarily remaining hidden in the pristine sanctum. <sighs> According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths beneath Hyrule's capsule. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared in the Zora's domain and unleashed monster bombs. The waters of truth have become murkier still. But from the Zora's perspective, one thing is clear. Mm. It all leads to the sky. Oh. It's disaster, the sludge, the monster, and even Zelda. It may... Will be the answer to these riddles. Can only be found. Skyward Sword. Wait. <laughs> Sidon ordered Jihato to historian. Yes, I know. Yep, we got some progress for you. So you can find him before you find Jihato. That's actually wild. Already spoken with him. You say the mark of the king was mentioned on the stone plate was restored? Indeed, I do know of it. The mark of the king refers to the Zor King's scale, one of my scales, in other words. Oh. I have heard it called by the name you mentioned it in an ancient ritual, however, none remain who know how it was used. In this particular scale of mine may prove useful to you, by all means, take a few. There is no need for restraint. This is nothing to me. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. <laughs> Zora King bear this scale on their forehead. It sparkles in different ways depending on the angle at which it is viewed. Once used in ancient Zora ceremonies. Mm. After all that has transpired, and after much reflection, I have come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of King on to Sidon. Uh -huh. hmm. In any case, it is a matter for another day, after the chaos surrounding the sludge is quieted. Please inform Sidon of my situation and about the King's scale. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what he needs to be done. So, clearly I need to use this scale. Man, I did not expect to go into a massive dialogue <laughs> at the start. But that's just because I forgot that I was right outside King Dwarf Rams. 
<sighs> so we need to use this scale like on an arrow and we need to shoot it into god god knows what i think it's this fish though i think it has something to do with this it definitely has something to do with this because if you remember the historian thing who's this guy is that it this stand upon the land of the sky fish and behold its lofty view among the floating rocks you see a droplet waits for you through this droplet shoot an arrow with the mark of the king do this task you shall reveal a most wondrous thing so i want to go up to that fish and do it before i even talk to what's his face that's how confident i am that that is the correct answer however first i want to see if there's any loot in here because come on this is zora's king's sanctum there's gotta be something in here right oh there's an exit all the way to there that's interesting is there anything else like down here <laughs> and a chest this is why we check these things <laughs> five arrows we'll take this though i noticed on the map this was a cave that had a like a little mark here and I was like, uh, I didn't actually make the connection that this is where the bull of rock would be, though. That was just a lucky guess. <laughs> um, actually, before I take this, one more thing. No, nothing. Okay. Had to make sure. Let's take this all the way to the top. I want to go to that fish. How did I get there before? I made a hot air balloon. That's right. That is right. Hmm. I can't really get there from the, uh, from the tower, right? It's way too far away. But yeah, that fish. Where is it from here? It is. Let's go ahead and mark it with yellow. That way. It's actually on the other side of the mountain. Oh, god dang it. Where am I at? Which one is this? Okay. We already read that. That's excellent. Does that mean we're near that one chest? <laughs> no, I think we're just, like, partially through the, uh... Thing. Man, I'm, I'm, we're not gonna do it this way. Okay, I could just literally teleport to up here. But... I want to go to that island. Let's let's go to the tower and see how high the tower takes me. Because maybe the tower takes me tall enough to go to the the fish. Here we go. Um, the fish is there. Actually, yeah, I should be able to make it. There's also literally this orb thing that we still haven't checked out. You know what? Screw it. We know what we want to do with the fish. Let's check out this orb. The Nehru Sky Archipelago. So it spins. It's like a moon. There's got to be like a hole in the side, right? Here we go. Oh, it's a shrine. Oh, my gosh. And it's one of these. Man, this is cool. Let's stop it from spinning. Oh, that's cool. What? That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, let's see what this one is. Um, where are we past them? Let's just do five of these. This should give us the adequate representation of what is in here. Take a drink of water. Oh, wait. <laughs> Black raspberry this time. Cart. A beam emitter. Cool. Zonai device that shoots a light beam from its horn, inflicting damage at great range. Okay. It's actually awesome. Is that all that was in there? Yeah. Okay, so we got four beam emitters. Let's put in another five just so we can get some more than beam emitters, just because we might even put in another five after this. <laughs> we like we like beam emitters. That's not that's fun, right? Plus it gives us fans and wings, which you know. Never really have too many of them. How many of the large ones do I have, I wonder? 13. We have 13 large ones. <laughs> Alright, that's enough, though. 
How many did we get there? Nine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine for now. We have this thing, which goes... Really something below us. Um, a couple of wings. What is below us? What is that? It's just like an egg. There's something else, though. We gotta check out below us somehow. Um, but for now, let's check out the shrine. Sorry, I bumped you guys. <laughs> My bad. What have we got? A flying device. Gliders? Okay. Heck is down there. Do I want to go down there? What is this craziness? This place is huge. Oh. The heck? I want to see it's down here. I don't think there's anything down here. Huh. Where's the chest? Hmm. Who uses ladders when you have a send, huh? Oh, I see the chest. Bazaar. Oh god. Can I actually make that jump? I don't think I can. Oh. It's really close. Really close to making the jump. What if I use this thing like as a bridge? Some way to get it, but I don't care. It's mine now. Large zona. That is my large zona. You hear? Like any reason to going over there? I guess you want to get the skateboard. That way you can use the skateboard to use the flipping glider to get speed to be able to go to the end. Is that is that the idea here? So this needs a skateboard underneath it. See if we can go grab one here. Might be able to just catch one. Ready? You guys know how good I am at this. <laughs> I'm amazing at it. Catch one of these. Thank you. That's all I needed. <laughs> Doing things the some way since. And then I start my YouTube. 2017? 2017. Probably not straight, but that's fine. Let's go. I'm ready for this.
Oh my god. What a good game. <laughs> Thank you, game, for giving me my things back. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god, that was so stupid. Alright, this time for real. here at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this actually enough for uh, another one? No. We just had enough for another one. That's right. So we get our next one we do a stamina. Then we have two full stamina wheels. And then after that we do a bunch of hearts. I think that'll be the best way to do it. So do we go for the big fish right now? I think we do. Go for the fish. Go for that big fish. Sounds like it'd be kind of fun because I want to I want to figure it out before I talk to Yato. Also, I also am curious as to what is down here. Another thing. If I put it like that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. Freaking what? Sage's will? The remnants of a former sage's resolve. You gather four of them and offer them to a goddess statue. You can deepen your connection with the sages? What the freak is this, bro? Hello? <laughs> what does that even mean? Holy crap, this flipping orb in the sky thing was amazing. What the crap is that thing? Bro, Sage's will? What? That's amazing. I guess we'll check that out later. Um Really guy? You gonna be you gonna be like that? That's just a rock. Uh so we wanna go to the fish, which the fish is high in the sky, I think. Oh, there's another tower over there. No, it's that yellow. That? Yeah, it's that. I don't know if we're going to be able to make that. I guess if I eat stamina food, I can probably make it. Yeah, we're getting a blood moon while I'm flying around. This guy, leave me alone. Can Tula and shoot at them as well? I mean, he's literally a Rito. He's like built for shooting at people during the while we're flying around. All right, Zelda, relax. I'm just trying to fly to a flipping flying fish, dude. I can't see crap. Get rid of this flipping bloody smoke. Oh, of course, these guys are still here. That was a bad one. I was trying to dodge the birds. Oh, man. I think we do make it if we do this the entire time. Look at that shrine down there in the bottom left. <laughs> I guess we'll eat stamina food now. That's what we have it for, right? Save ourselves a little time. This is 100% what they're talking about, though, is the slipping fish. What I have to do is find the drop, though. That's the part that's probably going to be difficult. This is definitely where it is, though. 
Wish this stuff would have stayed clean. <laughs> but, uh, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, so let's read it again real quick. Um, clues in the sky. Through this, among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Okay, so we're looking for a droplet. Among the floating rocks. All we need to do is find droplet. Seems like this might would be pretty obvious to see. But maybe not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I said, it's probably pretty obvious to see. Wish I had like a Zora's bow. Um, we'll use the Rito's bow though. Okay. We need to attach King Dorafram's scale. There it is. And go. closer than I thought. Holy cutscene. That's where the Divine Beast is. Bro, what is this game? <laughs> so good. <laughs> Side of the Zora. Sidon will want to hear about this. Um, Sidon, like all good companions, can wait for their master. Oh my god. Sidon's actually probably gonna be the one to freaking bring me there. I rode on his back before. <laughs> hey, 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 Lady Yona. That scene? Mm. Lady Yona is far too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. I came here because there's something I need to speak with you about. I've been thinking for quite some time. Hello there, Link. Huh? What just happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? Huh? You solved an ancient stone tablet's riddle, and a pillar of light appeared. <laughs> the words upon the stone slate are correct. The path of the sky may open up if we investigate that location. Oh. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. My dear Sidon, I think you should go with Link to investigate that pillar of light. As I was just about to say, for a long time I have been concerned that you are holding yourself back and not acting as freely as though I would have expected. But my love, if you and Ling join your powers, I am certain you will be able to overcome whatever danger awaits. Hmm. He's not wrong. This is, und <laughs> this is undoubtedly true. However, uh? it's troubling you. Hmm. It's simply that. Oh. Ooh, is this a goopy monster? Like Ambusher of Mipha's court. The monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Titan, we can take care of the water, at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. Oh, well, yeah, they're like all up here doing it. Huh. Best couple. Link, please, I must ask that you fight to my side once more. I mean, this is gonna be easy, dude. It is a mighty opponent, certainly, but we must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thusly shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's right, I forgot I get, like, a power. <laughs> when Sidon's aura is charged, he can create a bubble of water that 
blocks incoming enemy attack. If you swing your weapon, the water will be channeled into a strike. Bro, that's sick. Okay, all right, bet. All right, all right, all right. Oh my God. Well, how about we do this? Um, Oh, he doesn't like that. I wonder if he likes this as well. <laughs> um, oh, that's actually like almost busted. Interesting. We're going to use this, I guess. He actually did a lot of damage to me there. Um... doing much for me. And I like... I thought I'd be able to walk through it, maybe. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you're gonna get destroyed now. Oh yeah, you got two spears freaking poking you in the butt. Oh, look at his legs. Game volume's turned up for you all, by the way. Let me know if you like that. <laughs> or just don't say anything, and then I'll know you like it. You did it, Link. Take that foul beast of sludge. Everyone all right? I want to see the chest. They're like, yeah, nothing changed. We are unharmed. Goodness, Lady Yuna, if something happened to you, I... Ahem. In any case, <laughs> is it possible that another monster will appear? I suggest you return to the domain at once. Thank you for the sediment side. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The Pillar of Light, he said, appeared at the reservoir that begs to be investigated. Maybe our opportunity to learn of the cause of the sludge falling from the sky, or even Prince Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us. Dear Sidon, your friend needs your help in getting to the bottom of this mystery. Mm. But, of course, it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. <laughs> Do not entrust this task to us already. We will not be on our own for long. We shall be just fine. Poor Sidon. He wants to do too much. Uh? We're yielding the fear of losing someone you love yet again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. Come now. <laughs> hey now. It's true. Yes, yes. There it is, clear as day. It's giving into fear once more of losing someone. <laughs> ah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Gotta love Prince Sadden, dude. Yeah, Yona seems awesome, too. I'm so glad. All this time he's clinging to regret. Couldn't save his sister, Mifa. I think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. He has overcome this trial, placed his faith in me. At last I knew he has come back. Link, please take care of him. He is the sun in my sky. Hey, there's the chest. I knew it'd have one. Oh god damn, that's pretty good too. Um well this is almost broken. I guess we'll do that. Flipping epic. Ah, oh, what a great, what a great, great little thing. That was awesome. Fortunately, we have reached the end of the episode, though. I hope you enjoyed it. 
thank you so much for your view, especially if you made it this far. And I hope I see you in the next one. Have a great day, Z fam. Peace out. Oh, that was great.